Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys how to install the stock Android 4.3 Google Edition on your HTC One. Uh, this ROM is based off of the recently released Google Edition of the HTC One, which runs the pure Android Jelly Bean. Uh, there was a recent update from, from uh, 4.2 to 4.3, which is what you will be flashing today. We will replace the regular HTC Sense user interface with the Google Edition ROM. Now, first and foremost, you have to unlock the boot loader of your device, have a custom recovery installed, and have a rooted phone. So before you race ahead, watch my video that details step-by-step -step in crystal clear instructions on how to root and unlock your HTC One. I'm going to put a link in the description below and you can go watch that video. Now after you're done, installing a custom ROM is a piece of cake. If you already have an unlocked and rooted phone, let's dive right in. Okay, so the first step before you do anything else is to create a full backup of your existing ROM using the custom recovery. It doesn't matter if you have the Clockwork Mod Recovery or the TWRP Recovery. Uh, I have the TWRP Recovery, uh, so let's power off the device and see it done. So power off the device. And then to go into the custom recovery, press and hold volume down and power at the same time for a couple seconds. And this is going to take you into the boot loader mode. And from here, just navigate to recovery using the volume down button. And then press power to select recovery. And that's going to take you into the custom recovery. And like I said, mine is going to be TWRP. Now the concept is exactly the same. The first thing you want to do is you want to tap backup, either on, or on a clockwork mod or TWRP. So once you tap backup, you simply swipe and it starts the whole backup process. Once your backup is complete, all you want to do is you want to reboot into the system which is your regular Android interface so this is going to log you into Android now just to clarify uh, this method of backing up backs up your entire phone including all your files folders music movies pictures text messages phone call logs everything so if you ever restore from this backup you will not lose anything so this is the perfect way to go okay so now Leave, leave the phone alone and we're going to switch over to computer and we're going to grab the Google edition of the ROM. Alright, so the next thing I want you to do is I want you to go to my website, SakiTechOnline.com slash downloads. So just go to the downloads link right here and then scroll down and look for HTC One GE 4.3 custom ROM and then click the link this is going to take you to the source okay so here's the guy that made this available so give him a props and then let's go down here and what you want to download is you want to download the MD5 Big C M7 blah 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 just click this link right here it's going to take you to this web page and your download will start in 10 seconds now once your download is completed, I want you to make sure that your HTC One is now powered on and it's connected to your computer, okay? Uh, make sure the HTC One is powered on regularly, meaning that you're logged into your regular Android uh, ROM. So once you connect your phone to your computer, go to my computer and navigate to the internal storage of HTC One okay so this is the internal storage of HTC one and then minimize this and then go to your downloads folder and then here's the ROM we just downloaded this is the big C M7 blah 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 that we just downloaded so what I want you to do is I want you to copy this and then paste this into the internal storage of your HTC one so once your uh, ROM is copied over to your HTC One, you're done with the computer. So you can actually detach your HTC One from your computer 
and then let's switch over to my HTC One and show you how to finish the process. Okay, so we are now all good to go. So let's grab our phone, make sure it's disconnected from your PC, and power the phone off. Okay, once the phone is powered off, uh, go back into the boot loader mode, press volume down and power at the same time. Keep it pressed, okay, and then go into recovery. Power to go right in. Okay, so again, whether you have clockwork mod recovery or the TWRP recovery, the first thing you want to do before you do anything else is to do um, a factory reset and wipe the data and the cache. So go to wipe. You have to do this before you install any custom ROM. And here it says factory reset. It's going to wipe the data. It's going to wipe the cache. And it's going to wipe the Dalvik cache. And that's exactly what you want to do. So make sure you swipe this to get it done. Oops. And the process starts. And in the clockwork mod recovery, you just choose wipe data slash factory reset. And then you go back to the wipe cache and then you are done. Okay, so once this is done, go back. Go back one more time. And go ahead and press install. And then go all the way to the bottom and look for the file that we copied over tap on it and then do a swipe to confirm flash okay so the process starts right here your custom ROM is being installed and it should be ready in a little bit I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the scene but I'm going to make sure that you guys don't miss anything important okay once the process completes you are going to see the successful message right there in the middle and then once that is done, you can actually reboot into your system. So just go ahead and tap the reboot system. And this is going to start the setup process for your Google edition of the phone. So again, I'm going to fast forward real quick. And there's the standard welcome screen. So let me go ahead and set up, set up the whole thing. So click start. I'm going to set up my Wi-Fi. And I'm going to be right with you guys. Okay, so we're connected. So let's just say no to everything and go straight into the device to see what it looks like. Not now. Next. Give it a name. Saki Tech. Oops. Saki Tech. That's right. Click done. Click next one more time and we should be done. Set up complete. And there you go. That's the Android 4.3 Google edition for HTC One. Very smooth, very responsive. Here's the app drawer. Let's click OK. Let's go to the widgets. Let's go to home. Go back home. And let's check the version to be sure we are in fact running 4.3 settings all the way at the bottom about phone and there you go Android 4.3 alright well thanks for watching this video subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and I do have a lot more other videos on HTC One customization and then give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you the next time